<laughs> hey, hey, how you doing, Lizzie? Uh, are you going to the Lakers game? Uh, psh, I wish. I, I don't have no tickets. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? Here I am with two tickets to the Lakers game and no one to go with. <laughs> well, you enjoy yourself tonight, all right? <laughs> well, too bad you can't make it. The seats are center court. We can go on my dad's limo, and I have passes to the after game party, but yeah, well. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I mean, hey, who am I to be so selfish? Uh, well, you say you uh, pick me up around 8? And, oh, uh, just for the night, how about you let your buns down? <laughs> now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said, fresh and a dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare, but I thought, man, forget it, yo, home's the Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, yo home, smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Jeffrey, you look great today. Have you done something different with your hair? Yes, I stopped pulling it out. <laughs> what are you selling? Okay, I'm hawking candy bars. They're only five bucks. Marvelous. With what I'm paid, I should be able to afford one by the end of the day. <laughs> you poor, pathetic gigolo. How could any self-respecting man sell himself so cheap? Like I don't hear enough of that from my mother. <laughs> I was talking to Will. Of course! Why would anyone talk to me? I'm but a poor, lowly servant. <laughs> well, uh, Carl, I'm saying, what's your damage, man? I mean, Lindsay just can't resist me. It's just a Laker game, you know? Hey, besides, you know what they say about guys with big ears? Make him fly? <laughs> Vivian, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Philip, I don't see why you don't want to run. He's probably afraid he'll crack the concrete. <laughs> Will, the L.A. Political Coalition just asked your 